The word of the day is feelings. Now, feelings are yours and yours alone to control and to let in, to let penetrate your mind, body, spirit, and soul based on what you tell yourself about what you just heard or saw or, or, or the emotion that you are experiencing. No matter what's going on, what happens is what we tell ourselves about what we are experiencing, that becomes the feeling. For example, someone can say the rudest thing to you, but before you feel a certain way about it, you have to tell yourself, you have to attach an emotion to it or a meaning to it. Um, a friend of mine told me recently that she's always been weird. And when she told me that, she was upset about it. She goes, you know, people don't get me. I've always been weird. I've always been different. And I said, I know. I know. Me too. I've always been eccentric. And I was excited about it. And she goes, well, I mean, people don't call me eccentric. I didn't say eccentric. You know, people call me weird or I call myself weird. I said, oh. I said, well, people probably say that I'm weird too. But by the time it gets here, by the time it gets here, by the time it gets here, it's eccentric. And I have made that a good thing. I am different and I love it. I am uniquely made and I love it. So before I allow someone to say something or someone else's words or even my words to dictate a bad emotion, turn it around. Turn it around and make it a good emotion because what you tell yourself is dictates how you feel about a certain thing. Your feelings are yours and yours alone to control what you attach to what you are experiencing. Let me say that again. The words and the meaning that you attach to what you experience becomes the feeling and you can control that. Stay blessed. Love you much. Have a great day. Your feelings are yours and yours alone.